the Bodhi, the actual battle of the year, happens every year in France. Did you know about it? I only knew about it from watching the documentary, but that was before it was even held in France. I think it was later moved to Montpellier. Uh, but no, I mean, it's incredible to know that b-boying was created here and the inception was really this um, true American art form and now it's been sort of accepted and taken over by the world and truly evolved more out of America than in it. So to see how each country sort of has their specialities, whether it's, you know, Korea is known for its incredible power moves and uh, France has such style and, and the technicality and whatnot. It's great to see how it sort of differs in each place. Bring me to that moment in the audience at the Battle of the Year when our team went up. They're like your babies at this point. Yeah. Okay. Bring me to that moment. I mean, we were literally in an arena with 30,000 people and we had 15 minutes to shoot this battle scene and we were sort of given special uh, sort of a special allowance before the Bodhi started within the arena to get special things we needed. But to utilize that audience, we had 15 minutes to get it. So it was like, and usually on a movie, you have infinite time and everything is sort of at a much slower pace. So this was a true performance. This was like uh, opening night and closing night all in the same day. So we, you know, the pressure was on and we were together. We were like one unit there. You got to watch the whole show, right? I did. Tell me just about the show in general. I mean, watching these, these people who have devoted their whole lives to what they do in this dance was, I mean, I, I have just infinite amount of respect for them. And to know the time that it takes and the athleticism and sort of the wear and tear that your body uh, experiences throughout was, I mean, I just have so much respect for these guys. They're superheroes. When you were a dancer, I know every dancer has their signature move. Did you have a signature move? Uh, mine's like a Macarena hybrid <laughs> with, uh, with, it's like a Macarena pop and lock. You don't want to see it. It'll make you feel weird. Tell me, was there anything you learned in this movie? I mean, I was, I, what's great about being an actor in general is you sort of get a crash course in all these different things that you might otherwise never be exposed to. So. You know, in my movie Red Dawn, I was working out with Navy SEALs, and now I get to watch these b-boys who are like stars of what they do and see what's required of them and see the subculture and, and you know, the attitude and the technicality and, and what they do and how it's a true lifestyle. So, I mean, a whole new world's been opened up to me. Last question, Josh Holloway. Yes, dreamy. <laughs> I mean, you know, Josh was on a TV show for so many years and that kind of grueling pace of television makes you such a pro. And so just getting to show up every day with him and knowing that he was so there and present and was always ready to play and try things and, and allow me to be funny. And, uh, you know, I, it was such a boys club, this film, and, and I couldn't have asked for a better cast to be surrounded by. We're good. Thank you. Thank you.